D-S-L-R Film Noob. If you're on a budget, audio recording can be a tricky business. If you only have a couple hundred dollars to spend, you need to decide what is going to be the best microphone field recorder combination for your budget to make your audio sound as good as possible. A lot of times if you're buying a microphone or a field recorder, that's great as long as you can get those items as close to your subject as possible. The closer you get to your subject, the better off your audio quality will be. Now, I'm using a wireless mic right here, but I also have a field recorder in the room and I'm gonna cut to that now. This field recorder is about five feet away from me as I'm speaking and you can hear the difference in audio quality from the field recorder that's at a distance to the microphone that is attached to my shirt. Obviously, the microphone that's attached to my shirt provides better audio quality than the field recorder that's five feet away. And the reason for that is because this is closer to the area where the sound is emanating from my face. Now, if you want to get good quality audio, you don't necessarily have to get the best microphone or the best wireless system. You just need to be able to get it as close to your subject matter as possible. In an effort to help you guys find a really affordable wireless system, I'm gonna be testing out today the Audio-Technica 88WR. This is a VHF wireless transmitter that runs about $100, and it's one of the most affordable ones on the market. So let's take a closer look at the Audio-Technica 88 Pro. Taking a closer look at what comes with the Audio-Technica 88 Pro, you've got this receiver unit right here. It has uh, two little audio jacks. One is your headphone output for monitoring audio. The other one is a microphone output that goes to your camera. This is not very loud, so you will either need some outside gain or you're gonna have to run it into the camera and crank up the camera's input gain to get that to sound nice. Now there also is a little LED indicator just telling you that it's on. You have an on-off switch an AB switch to switch frequencies in case you're using multiple units so you can put one on B frequency, one on A frequency, and try to avoid interference. On the back side, you'll notice that it has this little adapter right here attached. This little adapter pops out like so and basically provides a little cold shoe adapter to mount it to your rig. These do run on nine volt batteries, which aren't the most convenient, uh, but it's usable enough for the price. The transmitter itself doesn't have a whole lot to it. You'll see that it has an on-off switch and a frequency selection switch and a single audio input. That's about all you get with the transmitter. You'll also notice that the microphone that's included has a mono plug to it. Uh, it's not stereo, so if you're trying to plug in a stereo microphone, you might get some shorting issues with that if you're trying to use this with, say, the Rode VideoMic or VideoMic Pro. The microphone cable itself is fairly short. You only get about a foot and a half to two feet worth of length, which isn't very long, so you'll need to keep the pack in a back pocket or something very close, and you won't have a lot of slack, especially if you're tall like me. You also get this little antenna right here that kind of threads into the receiver like so and gives you kind of a goofy little antenna looking thing. And of course you get a little audio adapter. This is actually not the audio adapter that came with the unit. I grabbed this after I accidentally dropped the other one down a vent. So this one is going to stand in for the original. Transmission distances seem to be pretty good. Right now I am standing about 150 feet away from the camera, clear across the studio, and it seems like the audio is being picked up pretty well. The transmitter itself is still line of sight, so your mileage may vary if you are in another room or you have walls separating the transmitter. Right now I'm using the Audio-Technica as my lav mic as I record to the camera, and you can kind of get an idea of what the audio quality sounds like. It's not as good as the Sennheiser G2 and G3 units that I normally use, but it's pretty acceptable for the price range. Uh, listen to the audio yourself and decide what sounds better. Obviously, the more expensive units are probably gonna sound a little bit better than the Audio-Technica that I'm using right now, but overall, it sounds pretty decent and very usable, especially if you add a little bit of background music 
as the person is speaking or some ambient noise like crickets or what have you so that it kind of masks a little bit of the lack of quality that you're getting from this lower end microphone. Quick pro tip if you want to remove the audio noise from the 88 Pro, you can hear it hissing right there. Go ahead and go over to your effects pane and type in denoiser. Once that pops up, go ahead and drag that onto the effects pane for the clip and click on this customs button here and you can use that to set up the noise floor reduction for the clip. Right now I'm using So you can kind of hear the hiss. Let's go ahead and drag that down to about minus 8ish. And it's sounding better. And let's up the noise floor to about 3.2. The Sennheiser G2 and G3 units that I normally use, but it's pretty acceptable for the price range. Uh and you can hear that that did an excellent job of removing the noise from the clip. Overall, the audio quality on the Audio-Technica 88W isn't too bad. It's not amazing. It doesn't stand out of the crowd, but for uh, around $100 to $120, it sounds pretty good, especially if you're in a situation like this where you're speaking into the camera. Sure, you could uh, mount a field recorder on a pole and put it somewhere you know out of frame down here or something like that but this is closer to your subject and even though the audio quality of the microphone itself isn't amazing it's going to provide a little bit better audio quality than that field recorder that is placed further away also it won't pick up as much of the room sound if you have a room with flat walls and a lot of echo the output of the audio technica 88 pros receiver isn't very strong, so you are gonna have to either use a juice link device to add gain to it, or you're gonna have to crank up the gain in your camera. Right now, I have the 5D Mark III cranked up to about three quarters of the volume scale on the input, which isn't amazing, but considering the source of the audio, I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference in the quality of the recording itself. I will have links in the crotch bar below to where you can pick up the 88W Pro, as well as a full write-up along with some more audio samples over at dslrfilmnoob.com. So if you're interested in taking a look at that, you might want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe. Uh -huh.